Hello there, welcome to the June 2018 paper. Here we're looking at question 12. Show that the equation 4 cos theta minus 1 equals 2 sine theta tan theta can be written in the form 6 cos squared theta minus uh, cos theta minus 2 equals 0. Okay, I think what we'll do then is we'll start off by writing down the uh, expression we need to start with. 4 cos theta minus 1 equals 2 sine theta and tan theta, I'm going to rewrite tan theta as sine theta over cos theta. The next thing I'm then going to do is I'm going to then times both sides by cos theta. Okay, so that will get rid of the uh, divide by cos theta on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, it's now going to be 4 cos squared theta minus cos theta. So I've times both bits here by cos theta uh, equals, and then this is all being multiplied together, so that's just going to cancel out the um, cos theta, so it's going to be 2 sine squared theta. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace sine squared with 1 minus cos squared, so let's go ahead and do that. Leave the left hand side alone, I'm not moving anything from any side to any side, all I'm going to now do is change the sine squared into 1 minus cos squared. Expand the brackets here, so leave the left hand side alone, I'm not moving anything in this step. I'm just going to expand the brackets on the right hand side. Now I'm going to add the 2 cos squared theta on the other side and I'm going to subtract 2. So add 2 cos squared theta and subtract 2 to both sides. So that's going to give us 6 cos squared theta minus cos theta minus 2 equals 0. And there we are, that's the answer to part A then, so hence we have proved that. Now let's move on to part B. Hence solve in between 0 to 90 um, 4 cos 3x minus 1 equals 2 sine 3x tan 3x. So what we'll do then is, given that this thing here is basically the same as this thing here, and they've got us to do this step in part A, uh, we'll change um, the expression that we're trying to solve um, and set theta equal to 3x. So we're now going to be solving co 6 cos squared 3x minus cos 3x minus 2 equals 0. Now the next thing I need to do is um, my domain is going to be in between 0 to 90 but that's for the x value. Now the angle that's inside my uh, trigonometric, trigonometric function is a 3x so I need to triple my range of values from 0 to 270 now. So now I need to factorise it, it's going to probably be a 3 cos 2x and a 2 cos x and it's going to be a minus 1 and 2 I think, so like that, so that will give us minus 4 cos x plus 3 cos 2, um, oh hold on I've dropped all my on both of these angles here, just to make it really clear, on all of these angles, it's a 3x still. So therefore, either this bracket equals 0 now, so 3 cos 3x minus 2 equals 0, in which case cos 3x equals 2 thirds. And in this bracket here, it's going to be 2 cos 3x plus 1 equals 0. Uh, so then cos 3x equals minus a half. Okay, let's just do one of these equations at a time then. So for this equation here, I need to do cos inverse of 2 thirds. So cos inverse 2 thirds. And that gives us 48.2. And then if we do 360 minus answer, that gives us an answer over the 270 range. So that's not going to be a final answer. But now if we work out what x is equal to, divide by 3, 
we get 16.1. So 16.1 is our first answer. There's not going to be a second answer for this side of the equation here. And 3x is going to equal cos inverse of a half, so cos inverse minus 0.5. That will give us 120. And 316 minus that, that will give us 240. Those both inside my range of 0 to 270. And the final thing to do would be to divide these by 3, so that's going to be 40 and 80. So my three answers to this equation are 40, 80, and 16.1 degrees. And there we are, that's the answer to question 12 there. That's eight marks for that question there. Let's now move on to question 13.